Okay, looking at Matthew, chapter 16, verse 17. And this is after Peter, verse 16, Simon Peter answered said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered said to him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood, that's man, has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Now there are many Christians out there, when they learn something from the Bible, they give all the credit to their pastor, their favorite preacher, their telev television evangelist, their Sunday school teacher. I, Peter says, thou art the Christ. Jesus answered, Man did not tell you that, Peter. But my Father, which is in heaven, it was revealed to you, Peter, by God. We go over to John. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Comforter, capital C, which is the Holy Ghost, from the Father, which is also God, the Trinity, will send in my name Jesus. So there's a Trinity right there. He shall teach you all things. Thou art the Christ. Well, Peter. Man did not tell you that flesh and blood. My father. <coughs> and when this day and age, forgive me for coughing, my recent illness. <coughs> In this day and age, when we learn something, and whether it be our pastor, our Sunday school teacher, favorite preacher, or even a preacher, you know, we've been, hey, check this message out. God is using them. That's inspiration. But the credit, let's not go to the man. The credit goes to God and the Holy Spirit. And actually, you are wrong when you give all your credit to a man, flesh and blood. Well, our preacher showed us today in the Bible, no, no, he shall teach you all things, and that he is the comforter, the Holy Ghost, which came in you the day you got saved, which is from the Father. <clears throat> Sanctifying through thy truth, thy word is true. When you learn the truth, Jesus said, look here, verse 6, I am the way, the truth. So when you learn the truth, it did not come from your preacher. It came from the Father. By the Holy Spirit, given by the Father. <coughs> Please pray for me. And by Jesus Christ. Now, John eight forty four. You're your father, the devil. The lust of your father, you'll do. 
he was a murderer from the beginning. And bold not in the truth. Because there's no truth in him. And when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a is a liar and the father of it. So I have been taught wrong from the Bible. I have been misled through the Word of God. I have been lied to through church tradition. I have been deceived by lies and not the truth. When we see Jesus is the truth, the Word of God is the truth. The Holy Spirit will teach us the truth, which comes from the Father. It's not flesh and blood. And when we are taught a lie, the devil, he is a liar and the father of it. And a man can be used by God to teach us the truth. And a man by the devil could be there to teach us lies. Interesting. That God the Father will use man through the Holy Spirit. And Satan will use man through his devils. Verse 14, no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore is no great thing if his, run that his back to Satan, ministers also be transformed as ministers of righteousness. So Satan has ministers. God has ministers. Well, Sally, how do I know? Bible says, <coughs> Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly divine the word of truth. We don't give the credit to our preachers and pastors. And Sunday school teachers and men. We don't give the credit to flesh and blood. They, oh, I read, I, I, I look, look, wow, look, I, I heard this message. I, I can't believe what I learned. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for using that man for delivering the service. But the man, flesh and blood. All glory to God. The Son and the Spirit. And that man has made himself a vessel that God could use. And when there's deception and lie, and they're in the churches today, including the Baptist church, and I know, when there are lies coming from the mouth of that, of that preacher, a Sunday school teacher. That man is being inspired by not by God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. When it is lies. Let's look at the verse again. When it is lies. He is a liar, the devil, the father of it. That preacher, that teacher, is being used by Satan. Have you ever heard a preacher get in a pulpit and say, tell you something? Oh, I was just kidding. Ha, 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 ha. You mean to tell me it's not the truth? 
If it's not the truth, then it's a lie. Well, how about this? You're 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 off somewhere reading your Bible, and and you wow, you've come to this passage like, wow, you know, I read the Bible X amount of times, so, and I've never seen that before. Wow. Who are you going to give the credit to? It's just you and the Bible. Who's going to get the credit? You, your flesh and blood. You don't get the credit. That's the Holy Spirit of God through the Lord Jesus Christ giving you. Well, let's read it. Let's go back. Let's, let's make sure we see what the scriptures say. That is the Holy Spirit, he shall teach you all things. That, that time, whether you're listening to a preacher or a sermon or teaching, or you are reading your Bible alone, no one else is there, and you get insight of, wow! The only credit goes to God the Father, God the Son, and remember the Son is the truth, the Holy Spirit teaches the truth, and by the Holy Spirit, it's not flesh and blood. But the flesh and blood that gave you the truth. Is God using that man, that man being able to be used by God. And then when you hear out of a pulpit, You hear on a cassette tape or a YouTube video or a Facebook thing, you hear a lie. You're the father of the devil, he's a liar and the father of it. And they take a King James Bible and they say with these big sunglasses, I have seen the golden plates. As we head off to Utah, taking other man's wives and having multiple wives, and meeting Jesus Christ, and writing another testament of people and places that archaeology cannot find. He said, what are those lies of the devil, the father of it? And the devil used the man, Mr. Smith, to teach lies. That's not flesh and blood. That's the devil using a man. That man gave himself over to the devil to come up with lies. And the same thing for, you know, for a particular salvation, which we cannot know. We got to hope so. That if we eat and drink the literal body of Jesus Christ, that we twist the scriptures to take it literal when it's supposed to be spiritualized, and we teach of heresies of, you know, not the Passover, but the Easter, the Esther, and that there were three wise men that came to Jesus. There would have been four wise men, but the stores weren't open. And that the mother of Jesus is completely sinless like Jesus himself. And we'll call our people fathers, which are not married and don't have no children. And they can't be trusted with our children. And we have completely disregarded what the scripture said. That Mary brought a sin offering, called no man your father. Uh, the, the wise men, we don't know how many they were, showed up when Jesus was about two years old. Making your nativity scene a sin. 
Well, who is offered that line? There's a bunch of flesh and blood from the Pope down, but they're all after the devil. And we saw in Second uh, Second Corinthians chapter eleven, we see that Satan has ministered. When you are taught the truth through flesh and blood, a man, or even your own personal Bible studies, the credit goes to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. When somebody has deceived you, when somebody is trying to lie to you, when somebody's trying to twist the scriptures, or even yourself has entangled the word of God for whatever reason, and the outcome is a lie, John 8, 44, the devil's. You're going to get all truth through God. And you're going to get lies from the devil. Now the devil will throw some truth in there and make it look good. But we better credit to the who credit belongs and not to man, flesh and blood, but to God. God, you won't believe what God showed me. But you also better be humble enough to say if somebody said, well, let me show you the scripture to show what you think you were shown by God. According to the scriptures, you were actually taught wrong, and it's not God, but the devil trying to deceive you. And you have that aspect. That you ought to be humble enough to say, oh, I guess God didn't show me that, if it's a lie. Friend, we need to realize from our pulpits in the world, including the Baptist Church, if all the pulpits or podiums, if that preacher tells a lie, I don't care if it's a joke or a ha 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 or a preacher story, if he is telling a lie, your father the devil. Now, I'll tell you what a lie was this past Sunday, and I've got plenty of argument. Palm Sunday. Really? Palm Sunday was this Sunday when Jesus Christ was crucified on March, I believe it's 27. I, I don't have the. 26 or 27 of March. It's when the Passover. And you check all the Jewish websites and all the Jewish facts. In 2021, again, it's either the 26th or 27th of March. Let's see if I can bring it up. I don't want to be right about this. I don't put the file here, so get the correct date. On March 27th was the Passover. Sunday did not make Palm Sunday. And three days and three nights, at the end of today's day, March 30th, tomorrow Jesus Christ, according to the date, not the year, according to the date, tomorrow Jesus Christ will be out of that tomb.
And yet people are going to, on April 4th, they're going to celebrate Resurrection Sunday, but Resurrection was five days ago, when it's Sunday. In all actuality, they're going to be worshiping Easter. Passover's 27th, March 30th, three days and three nights. Easter, April 4th, is not Resurrection Sunday. It is five days too many. That's just as much as the lie that Good Friday is the time that Jesus died. There's people lying to you. And if they're lying to you, look, your father, the devil. Jesus is the way, the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the light. Paganism and Eastern Christmas are lies of the devil. And there are men out there, flesh and blood, they will, they will walk their way around on broken glass to back up their lie so it looks like the truth. And when we do learn the truth, He, the Comforter, shall teach you all things. We need to give, give the credit to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. And thinking that a flesh and, and, and blood, a, a man, has given himself to prayer and, and learning the scriptures that God can use him. But the credit goes to God. When it is the truth. And when it is a lie, whether it be one hundredth of a lie, one thousandth of a lie, one millionth of a lie, one billionth of a lie, one trillionth of a lie, it's a lie. And it's of the devil. <laughs> 